He is known as the most decorated soldier of the Vietnam War. Born on April 7th of 1937 and Vega, Baja, Puerto Rico, Jorge Otero Barreto was at first being groomed for medical school in Spain after studying biology for three years in college. However, as fate would have it, he would instead join the U.S. Army and become one of the most prominent soldiers in U.S. history. He began training with the 101st Airborne Division in Fort Campbell, Kentucky, graduating in 1960. From 1961 to 1970, Otero Barreto would serve five tours in Southeast Asia during the Vietnam War. He served in the 101st Airborne Division, 25th Infantry Division, 82nd Airborne Division, and the 173rd Airborne Brigade. He volunteered in over 200 combat missions and was wounded five times during combat. It was these missions that would earn him the names Puerto Rican Rambo and Sergeant Rock. Two of Otero's most prominent combat missions occurred during the height of the Vietnam War in 1968 and a period dominated by the Tet Offensive from the North Viet Cong. The first occurred on February 17th near Quang Tri. Otero Barreto's unit encountered hidden enemy positions and they came under heavy fire. Otero, by then a staff sergeant, took control of a machine gun that had lost his operator and covered the withdrawal of his platoon until he ran out of ammunition. Wounded during the battle, he also managed to organize the orderly withdrawal of the unit from the area. This brigade was part of Operation Jeb Store. The second occurred less than three months later on May 1st north of the city of Hugh. Still with the same company, but now as the platoon sergeant, Otero Barreto's unit came under attack while they were occupying defense positions near a village. The North Viet Cong regiment were trying to break through the cordon established around the village. The North Viet Cong regiment failed to advance even after three assaults. This was due to Otero Barreto's leadership and leading his squad into the village, neutralizing several defensive positions in the process and positioning his squad to provide cover and fire as the rest of his unit advanced. This was done under Operation Carantan 2. These two missions would earn Jorge Otero Barreto two silver stars. In all, Otero Barreto was awarded around 40 military decorations, which also included five bronze stars with valor, four Army Commendation Medals, five Purple Hearts, and five Air Medals. Otero Barreto has continued to receive praise for his military exploits long after his service. He has been the recipient of numerous post-war awards, dinners, and events in his honor. He has also had museums, veterans' homes, streets, etc. named after him. Even now, in his later years, as the sun begins to set on his career and life, Otero Barreto continues to serve his fellow veterans. He spends his days helping other veterans with their benefits, taking them for medical checkups, and just making sure that the U.S. government is meeting their responsibilities towards them. The story of Jorge Otero Barreto's military service has been told over and over again due to his tremendous veracity on the battlefield. But what was more impressive was his great compassion for his platoon and his willingness to put his life on the line for that. Currently, there's a petition with the purpose to award Otero Barreto the Medal of Honor, which he should have received already. I put a link in the description for those that want to add their name to this worthwhile cause. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Help us to spread this video by sharing. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos.